Hi everyone and welcome to another Tribe Forex Power Hour. I'm Marcello. Today is June 23rd, 2014 and I'm going to do today what I've done for years which is an analysis of the markets and evaluation of our biases which are based upon the 5 p.m. Eastern close of our daily bars. So first I'm going to talk briefly about how this works, how we make money. Then I'm going to do my daily market analysis and if trades that we've recently taken come up then I'm going to talk about those as well so basically at 5 p.m. Eastern time I do my market analysis and determine the bias you guys who are listening to this right now get the benefit of that bias what can you do with the bias the bias is the biggest component of being a profitable trader it tells you what direction the market is most likely to go in next so when I say that we have an 82 percent win ratio or 82 to 85 percent that means that we get our biases right 82 to 85 percent of the time that means that we have a maximum favorable excursion in the right direction it takes us to to that point and if you know how to play this game then you can certainly profit off of these biases this is the most important part of this game okay so two ways to execute those trades those biases um, and I'm going to get to that if you guys have questions about that. If you are not a veteran trader, you probably don't know exactly how to execute the biases just yet, but I will help you with that. You can either, one, take a set and forget it trade, or you can, two, day trade in the direction of our biases using pods, points of decision, for bigger profits. Okay? Now, having said that, let me go ahead and go to the charts. All right, so I'm going to start with the euro dollar. I like to cover the majors. And then sometimes there's an outline chart that I like to go to as well. Depends on the particular day. Uh, right now, looking at the Euro USD, I can see that the Euro is in a consolidation. This is what we call a consolidation bias. What does that mean? It's going to bounce between two points. Now, the points that it's most likely going to bounce between are the moving average, 200 EMA at 136.25, and it's also most likely to move between 135.72. It's not a huge range it's about 53 pips of range but the way that this works is that you know we're, con we're, we're in consolidation market it's going to bounce between two points um, until it has a breakout until there's new information we will get new information we'll get some information out of Europe tomorrow we'll also get some some interesting information home sales etc out of the US market so those are important announcements but the market is most likely going to bounce between these two points until we have important information if you will information that would move it out of that range and what we can see is that this is actually what we what we like to consider a narrowing consolidation so it's consolidating and getting smaller it's giving us a, what we call a flag formation if you will so look for it to bounce between these two points when it reaches one of these any of these two points then you know look for some price action um, in the opposite direction it's going to most likely bounce there okay the dollar swiss same exact thing consolidation three bars in one two three not a ton of news coming out um, I think that price can move down to this to this 0 0.8919 area and then come right back up where we are at 8963 all the way up to 8976 okay so watch those two points it is consolidation it will most likely bounce between those two points pound dollar also consolidation get used to me saying that because that's what the kind that's the kind of market that we're currently in three bars here also a narrowing consolidation it's a tightening it's tightening of the bars they are getting smaller and smaller and so uh, it's just easy to look at this here and I'm actually not going to draw a trend line here because it's so uh, small on the upside I'm going to draw it at about 70 60 or 70 50 okay and that's going to be our area of resistance and then I'm going to use a trend line now for the lower side and that's going to be our area of it's going to be our area of support and actually what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to put it right here just for the sake of it um, and here's what I'm going to do is what I'm going to look for is yeah we've got a narrowing consolidation here tiny there's not even an awful lot we can do with this uh, more likely it's going to break out I would say that it's going to go to 170.50 in that range even up to just 170.34 and it's going to most likely sell out we are in a narrowing 
channel here on the pound dollar sell just for for a little while and then we'll figure out where it's going to go from there um, i would just try to take a sell off of 1.7050 even though the market has continued to move up um, i do think there's a there's not an awful lot of news coming out and i think that we're going to see more of a consolidation movement in this pair okay so euro dollar i said consolidation look for these two points that i discussed dollar swiss same thing pound dollar consolidation as well dollar yen so dollar yen is definitely a consolidation one two three four five six seven eight bars within each other um we're more than likely than not looking for price to continue to move up here on the dollar yen back into this now we are right at the egg the end of this apex we're in this flag formation and there's something is bound to happen in the next few days um i think that price is going to move back up on the dollar yen yeah And I think that we can adjust this as well now that price has broken it. There it goes. All right, so where we are right here at about 101.89 again, that seems to be a magic number, uh, we're going to look for price to come down to 108.187 and then push back up. And I'm looking for it to push up to 102.09, 102.20 in that area. Um, this is a consolidation market as well. Aussie dollar, we are in consolidation. I'm going to look for a sell on this. Believe it or not, I'm going to look for the Aussie dollar to sell. It's in consolidation as well. It's at the top of its consolidation. I'm going to look for it to sell back into the channel for tomorrow. All right, Euro Yen. Um, yeah, I think this can. This is also consolidation. Um, I'm going to look for a bounce off of 138.97 for a sell off of that area. Pound Yen did very well. We actually did a nice job selling off here at 173.71 getting all the way down from 173 actually the high of 173.81 to the low of 173.16 as you can see it's not a tremendous amount of range because we're in a consolidation market i don't know how many times i'm gonna to have to say it 65 pips on the day for the pound yen that's it so i'm looking for more consolidation movement I'm looking for this area of support here to be held at 173.32 looking for price to uh sell off of 173.98 okay new zealand is also in consolidation once again i'm saying it again one two three four bars inside here i'm going to look for 0.8745 to be an area of resistance and i'm going to be looking for 0 0.8674 to be an area of support yeah dollar cat has been a mover it has moved so basically yesterday i called or the day before yesterday i should say uh thursday i we had a close below the uh, pennant the area of support here i said look for 1.0828 to be support to be uh, uh resistance here and we're going to sell off of that and we did and look at that the market just really did well guys you can always look back at my videos from the past to see how accurate we've been on these calls this has been this has been phenomenal how this market has moved here um, so anyway, what I'm going to look for here, we're kind of sitting on support. It's just below support at 50 of uh, the 50 EMA. So I'm going to kind of, I could see price, you know, continuing down, but right now I see price moving up first. I'm going to watch it move up um, on this dollar CAD and retracement. We had four four days of a of a sell off, so I'm going to be looking for um, right here at this area of support for there to be a buy off of this. Okay, so I'm going to look for price to move up here. You know that this one is not so close because we are not uh, there aren't the, the the cues that I'm used to seeing here that I like to see meaning that I like my clothes to be above um, the area of support that didn't happen but um, you know we've got four days of drop it's probably time for a, a pullback of some kind and uh, I don't think that's you know I don't like to go with gut there but um, I think there's a good chance that price could move up um, here we get a maximum favorable excursion of at least 20 pips on this dollar cad all right so that's it um yeah all right so that's it so if i can recap we've got consolidation bias on all of these pairs except for the dollar cad and we're going to look for a play 
on these different currency pairs. 135.72 for a buy, 136.24 for a sell on the euro dollar. I'm going to look for uh, 89.76 for a sell. I'm going to look for uh, 89.19 for a buy on the dollar Swiss. I'm going to be looking for a sell off of 1.7050 on the pound dollar. Dollar yen, I'm looking for a buy from where it currently is at 101.89. I'm going to look for a sell off of 102.21 or 102.35. Aussie dollar, uh, same consolidation right where it is. I'm going to look for a sell off of that at 94.22. Euro yen, I'm going to be looking for a uh, bounce off of 138.96. I'm expecting it to get up there, so you can buy it now if you want to or whatever. Um, up to 138.97 in that vicinity, so you have about 30 pips you can gain from it. Uh, and then, you know, I'll be looking for a sell off of this trend line, which has been resistance. Okay, pound yen, and so I'm looking for a sell off of uh, either a buy right now or a sell off of 138.96 or in that vicinity, so 138.90 to 138.96. Pound yen, I'm going to be looking for consolidation again, and that is going to be at 173.98 um, and a buy off of 173.32. New Zealand dollar, consolidation again, as I said, and I'm going to be looking for uh, 87.45, 87.50 to be an area of resistance, okay, and 86.74 to be an area of support. Dollar CAD, this is my less, you know, it's not my strongest uh, bet here. Dollar CAD, if you will, um, would probably, I'm going to look for it to close up here somewhere above this area of support. Now, this is a risky one. Obviously, we're below the areas of support, um, you know, but in the broader scheme of where that area of support is in the market, um, I think there's a good chance that we could see a retracement here of at least one bar. Okay, so let me do one more thing, add some more areas of support here. And we're still not quite at areas of support here on the dollar cad. So we could see it drop down to 1.0682, but when it gets there, guys, be looking for some form of a pullback. Um, just, you know, there's going to be an opportunity there if you know what to do with it. I will be talking to you guys in the next few days about what you can do with it, okay? Uh, with these biases, um, you'll look and you'll see that the market has moved. Your next question is, how do I take advantage of that? With that, guys, I'll talk to you soon. It's another day in the markets. Happy trading. I'll see you tomorrow. All the best. Bye-bye.